Health officials say a New York resident has tested positive for COVID-19 while on a visit to Western North Carolina. The positive te test came during a visit to Asheville. The patient is now in quarantine in Macon County. We have live team coverage of the impacts of the coronavirus across our area, starting with News 13, Stephanie Sanastasi. And Stephanie, health officials are still investigating this person's movements. Yes, they are, and that's what they're trying to figure out right now. What they do know is that this person was in Asheville from March 10th to the 13th. Despite all this, though, Buncombe County's interim public health director says she does not want people to panic. We are actively trying to compose a timeline exactly uh, when this individual uh, was at certain locations. Buncombe County's interim health director, Dr. Jennifer Mullendore, announces this morning the first case of COVID-19 in a Nashville visitor a New York resident who spent time here in the mountains last week. As we speak, Buncombe County Public Health staff are conducting an investigation into this individual's activities during their time in our county. She says it's important to remember the people most at risk would be people who came in close contact with this patient, meaning within six feet for 10 minutes or longer. To further prevent the spread, county officials now strongly encouraging restaurants and bars to focus strictly on takeout and delivery only. We are acutely aware of the impacts and secondary impacts decisions like these have on our local independent businesses and local economy. Even hinting at more stricter changes that could be coming. Local businesses need to start planning now in anticipation of expanded and more directive mitigating measures in the near future. For many, the focus remains on testing. So in our clinic, um, we have about probably about 20 to 25 test kits. But more should be coming, which is why drive throughs like this one in Henderson County at Blue Ridge Community College are now open. This is uh, one tool that we're using to uh, try to slow, this is the key, to slow the transmission and spread of this disease. Child life specialists are helping hospitalized children make the most of a difficult situation. As News 13's Jay Siltzer shows us in tonight's health alert, portable technology is making the task easier. It is so calming and it brings that sense of comfort. The Specta station has captivated six-year-old Afton Gantz Hogue, who's recovering from intestinal surgery at Mission Hospital's Pediatric Intensive Care Unit. And so we'll use it during procedures to help keep kids distracted from whatever crazy things are going on, whether that be a painful procedure or just something that's a little uncomfortable. So being able to kind of shift their focus to something more fun. Yeah, it is really distracting and there was a point where it just put him to sleep too in a good way because it was just really relaxing for him. But now that Afton is doing better, this oversized lava lamp is also sensory stimulating and interactive. Ooh, I wonder what color it's going to be next. At the end of the day, this is a lot more than music and colored bubbles. It's also a projection of images onto the ceiling. It's taking patients' imagination to places far away from the hospital, if only for a brief time. If you walk down any street in Asheville, you'll see a lot of new signs in front of businesses. Some closed altogether due to coronavirus concerns, but many restaurants want people to know that they are still open. I'm also working on figuring out how to take tables, some tables out and give six feet of clearance um, between tables. At Barley's Tap Room and Pizzeria, the owner says they are doing curbside pickup and are also starting to deliver. Over at Asheville Pizza and Brewing, the dining area is closed, but they too are doing curbside pickup and delivery. At Catawba Brewing, they are operating as normal, but also doing curbside pickup of their beer. 67 Biltmore is also staying open and adding a special menu for delivery on Tuesdays and Fridays with no delivery minimum in city limits. It is uh, probably likely that we will see that come um, within a matter of days or a matter of hours, if not, you know, within the next day or two. State service industry leaders say they are bracing for mandatory closures of dining areas, but they are pushing to keep restaurants curbside pickup and deliveries open. They are also pushing for federal aid for service workers during this time. And so we're working through um, you know, unemployment insurance, family medical leave, paid sick leave for uh, those workers and hope that uh, we will see a bill pass out of the Senate early this week. Restaurant owners say it could take years to recover from this. This is going to be devastating, not just for the restaurant industry in North Carolina, but for the entire world.